so uh, it's that time of the month again. Got the Universal Yums. We actually got this box before our trip. <clears throat> and uh, it's been here waiting on us. We're, it's been waiting on us. We're actually about ready to get our next one. So exactly. So we dig in this box. We got to check it out. Are y'all ready? I'm Especially ready. since we're on diet right now. Perfect time. That's a good thing about vacations. You don't have to. You don't have to do no dieting. Woo! So let's get into the box and see what we got. And today's box. Hmm. I don't know what this is gonna be. Today's box is from Turkey. 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 Hope that don't mean we eat no uh no doggone turkey. <laughs> I like turkey. I do like turkey now, but all right. So you got the uh, got the little thing. We got us a little little sticker. Says we're gonna be trying out some treats from Turkey. Got oh, some a recipe here. Um, Make Turkish stuffed eggplant. Carney, Carney, Yurik, Yurik. I don't know. I don't speak no Turkish. Language so turkey in 60 seconds. What you might not know about turkey? Well, tell me what this is Sufi, Sufi Muslims, 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 Muslims. Yes. <laughs> are famous for their tolerance, their spiritualism, and their whirling. The der, okay. dervish dervishes, I don't know. And Let's precious get... spinning is an important <laughs> ritual of surfism. Believed to bring one closer to God. Okay. The most famous whirler of all, the renowned 13th century poet Rumi. Okay. Rumi, I'm sorry I'm pronouncing this wrong. <laughs> hey, <laughs> we're shrine, not from Turkey. And Konya draws thousands each year. Okay, cool, cool. That's cool. Anything else? The word, what you might not know, the word shish kebab originates from the Turkish word. I've had shish kebab before. Sis? Sword or skewer, okay. and kebab, roasted meat. Okay, Seven, meat on a skewer. Okay. Medieval Turkish soldiers used to grill used to grill chunks of meat skewered on swords on open fire, field fires. A meatier version of the sweet yum kebab on your sticker. On your sticker. And here's our there sticker. Yeah, that's right. That's the kebab on the sticker. Okay. Cool. So shish kebab comes from Turkey. All right, so what kind of, uh, it's got all kinds of trivia. Trivia train. Well, we ain't going to do the trivia. We'll try to keep this a little, you know, we don't want to be a 20, 30-minute video. We're just here to eat. We're just here to <laughs> eat. We're just here to eat, friends. We're here to eat. We're going to check it out. Start here. All right, so where are we starting at? Are you sure? Because we should start here, right? Because over here is. But here's the, the arrow. It says start here, but it says start here. I see that it's got an arrow saying start there. So where are we starting at? The Baharat Baharat spice, spice cracker, cracker chips. chips. The Caesar Baharat. Turkey's famous spice so, spice blend. So is this the Baharat? Baharat. Here we go. There it yeah, is. Right here, right here. The Baharat spice cracker chips. So let's try it out. Just like a smell, you know, after uh after our little bout with COVID in the DR. Oh, strong. Hmm. Yeah, man, it's a smell. Spice cracker chip. Hmm. Looks like a little, thin little, Ritz. A little thin wafer. About the size of a Ritz cracker. Mm-hmm. About the size, but it's real thin. And it's kind of hard. Mm-hmm. What do you think, bud? No, not taste like no ribs. It's not no buttery cracker. But it's really, it's not. I don't think it has a lot of taste to it. It's got, a, it's got that. I'm trying to think of what that uh, seasoning is. It's a. You said a oregano or. A, hmm. I think really. I can taste a little spice, but not hot. It's not it's hot spice. It's um, a flavor like an oregano or a, 
I'm I don't know what it is. Hmm. Not bad. I mean it's not. Hmm. Not bad. It's onion powder, parsley, garlic, thyme, and paprika. Okay, there we go. Cool. All right, so what's next on the list? Cleanse the palate. Yeah, we've got to cleanse the palate. You've got to be able to so you can taste the next one. You know, uh, BSKA, Bone Springs Kool Aid. All right, so what is next on the list, babe? Vanilla tahini halva. Okay, vanilla tahini. Turkey's crumbly sesame mm. sugar tradition. Okay, that's the, here we go. Tahini. Extraordinarily oh. crumbly ground sesame confection. Mm. Locals have been loving since the 11th century. So, vanilla tahini halva. Yes, I could use some scissors, couldn't I? I got them here. For that purpose. For that purpose, that's right. So... Piece off. Yep, look at some piece off. You know, we got the uh, kid here. He'll be wanting to try all this stuff too. Can't get him on uh, video, but. So, it's vanilla. It's got white chocolate. Definitely syrup. smell like a white vanilla, white chocolate. Mm. It's really crumbly. It's a. Very soft. Mm hmm. Mm. Not bad. Mm. It's dry, kind of dry though. But you can definitely, the vanilla is definitely like a vanilla. Very sweet. Very sweet, yeah. Very sweet. White vanilla chocolate. It's not really dry when you chew into it, it gets. Yeah. Not, it's just crumbly, but then when you chew into it, it's not really. But definitely sweet. My sweet tooth back here. <laughs> All right, so what's next on the list, baby? Cocoa, cocoa, mm. mosaic cookies. Now that's gonna look like it might be looking good. Which also has Turkish tahini, hazelnut, and cocoa. Cocoa, mm -hmm. cocoa, cacao. Cacao, papaya. Look, here it is. So it looks like some kind of chocolate filled cookie. It says new, whatever that means. Lush. Mosaic. Mm, all right, let's open this up. Let's try it out. Mm, here's your cookie. Cookie for me. And here's a cookie for me. Look at that. It's like a chocolate fudge field cookie. Not bad. I like this better than the last uh, little cookie thing we just eat. Uh, this is not that sweet. I caught that one, babe. You, you like more sweet than I do. This is not as sweet, and this is a more of a uh, cookie, <laughs> vanilla cookie, chocolate filled. Mm. Not bad, but I like that. I would eat that if she'd let me be off of, uh, you know, I gotta get off the diet kind of thing. But it's not gonna last long. I'm gonna come back. <clears throat> All right, so what's next on the list, babe? Salted roasted chickpeas. Turkey's flavorful, guilt free obsession. Guilt free? Why is it guilt free? Yeah. Mm. 170 calories. Just a little pack for 170 calories. Auto nuts. We got auto nuts. Yellow chickpeas. Hmm. Chickpea, ain't that what they make? Uh, yep. No. No. Uh, hummus. Hummus. Oh, chickpea. They ain't roast. I'm not going to roast it. But. Right. So, Smell like really, you know what that reminds me of? Back when I was a kid, my uh, grandfather had uh, cows. 
It kind of smelled like the uh, feed that we <laughs> he would feed the cows. <laughs> I mean, looks like it too. I mean, really, it's a uh, well. I don't remember it being that big, but uh, really, the smell of it. a roasted chickpea. Hmm. What do you think, bro? That's good. Mm -hmm. A little more powdery than a nut. But. Yeah. Reminds me of cow food. There's carbs on these. Oh, Lord. 23 carbohydrates. Don't eat these. <laughs> not guilt free. On, not guilt free. Not if you're on low carb. And 170 calories for it. Hmm. I don't really care for this. Again, it reminds me of cow feed. You can get your crunch if it was. That's a lot of carbs, that. Let me see. Dry. Five grams of dietary fiber. It ain't got a lot of a lot flavor. Of flavor. Uh, it does. It tastes like hay or... <laughs> I'm telling you, it reminds me of my grandpa's barn. I'm telling you. I'm going to get rid of that. Woo! That's exactly... I mean, it brings back memories, but... uh. <laughs> Not my thing. Mm -mm. Auto nuts ain't my thing. Woo! Did um, you eat the cow food? Ain't no telling, baby, because when I was a kid, I mean, when my grandpa had them cows, I'd live. You know, my uncles, my dad's youngest brother's like, uh, one of them's a year older, the other one's like two, three years older. Them son guns made me eat a uh, daddy long leg spider one time. What made you? Well, they told me it was candy. Eat this, it's candy. You're a smart boy, were you? I'm the smartest person in the family. <laughs> might not be, you might not be saying much, but hey. I mean, I just got my master's degree, bro. I didn't say you weren't smart now, so you weren't smart then. I'm pretty certain our young young grandbabies would know a spider is not candy. I don't know. I don't know. All right, coconut and coffee snowball cake. Mmm, now that sounds good. Not for you. What do you mean for me? Coffee's not a coffee. I'm not a big coffee fan, but here we go. It says new today. Snowball. Look at that. Mmm, it looks good. What you think, babe? What's it smell like, babe? Get a strong coffee over. Smells like coffee. See, her nose is still messed up from the uh, from COVID, I guess, because I smell coffee all day long. Yeah, I get some coffee here. All right, so, see. Just a little snowball cake. Uh, we got little things like that around here. That, uh, you should put a coconut on one thing. White cream filling, chocolate cake. Not as it's very moist, but it's moist. It's got like a sugar coating on that side. Okay. Like a, a icing, like an icing, yeah. and a harder on the outside, but it's like a Debbie cake, like a little Debbie like cake, little Debbie something. Cake. But it is coffee. It does have a coffee flavor. So if you like coffee, that'd probably be good for you. All right, what's well, next? What are you looking at me for? He's hiding weights in our bike, Mister. I don't like coffee. I'm trying to get rid of that cow feed out of my mouth. The oh, we got Turkish sour watermelon gummies. Turkish sour watermelon gummies. Babito. We got some things like that around here. They're not Turkish. But not Turkish, but our scissors right there. Jelly gummy, uh, like a you kind of like probably like probably like a uh, sour pack kid or something. Or something just gummy. It probably eat sour. But look, see, it looks like a little watermelon green. Of course, you got we got the green screen, so yeah. it's gonna mess it up. But you got your oh, white oh, and you oh. 
<laughs> red and white and your green. A little gummy. Got like sugar coating on it. Not sour. It says Turkish's turkeys. Turkish's. Yeah. Turkey's most mouth puckering watermelons. It's not sour at all. Not sour. I mean, it's got a little bit of sour mm. hint to it, but it's not sour like it's lemon. It's good. It's got a good watermelon taste. Yeah, it's, it's definitely watermelon flavored. So, huh. cool, cool. All right. Looks like I got one more thing in here, baby. One more. That's probably this right here. Two more. Okay. There might be two more things in this little pack. The yum bag. We got the yum bag, sir. What's in the yum bag? Does it tell us? Mm -hmm. Mastic toffees. Toffee. Taste the rare Turkish phenomenon. Okay, so we've got toffees. All right, I'm eating this. I cleaned my palate. Got watermelon in there. Mm -hmm. It's white. I mean, it's thick white. Toffee. No, I was expecting the uh, well, brown. It's a white. Kind of funny flavor, God. Like a chemical taste. I don't know. It's like, yeah. And that's tasting like dirt. I'm not much on that mastic. I don't know what that is. But yes. Locals are obsessed with this gummy sap and all its refreshing sap. piney glory. There's the pine. Yeah, I can taste that. Pine. They put it in everything from licorice to food to cosmetics. I'm not in that. Mm. Dirt, pine tree, I don't know. Mm. Mm. All right. mm -mm. That's not good. Why would anybody? Now, this is called Topics. Wild with juicy lime meat, sweet, soft melon. Melon and lime chews. Can't hardly see it. Green screen, but. Mm. That, that last one ain't no good. You like pine mm. sap? I mean. Yeah, I guess. You know, again, you can't see it's green, but it's got yellow, some kind of yellow. Feeling kind of. I don't see it that way. Okay. We like lime though. Mm -hmm. Gotta see if I can give the pine to taste the lime. Yeah, last one. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's not bad. I, I do like the solid melon. Mm -hmm. Melon. A little small hint of lime. Not bad. I'd eat that. I'd definitely eat that one, but all right, guys. We we travel to Turkey. Travel to Turkey. What about that? Hungry for more? Well, if y'all are hungry for any uh, of this stuff, you'll look in the description of the video. Uh there's gonna be a link down there, affiliate link to uh Universal Yums. Uh, if you'll go to that link, uh I'm not sure if they're still giving some, you may get uh, like some money off your first one, but uh, it runs about 16 bucks a month. You get to travel to different countries without leaving your home. You get to try all the different kinds of snacks. Uh, this is like our sixth box and we what really like it. My favorite, I like them cookies. The chocolate uh, feel cookie. Mm. It wasn't too sweet, just enough. Just a little cookie with a. What about you, babe? 
I think I like the vanilla tahini. The, the sweet one. Yeah, the one right before we eat the. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can see you liking it because you you real big into sweets. What was your my least, least favorite? favorite? I think it had to be the auto. Uh, no, I, well, I'm not I, sure. I'm not sure. The auto. I would, nuts. Still, I would eat the pine. The pine flavor. I, I candy. eat the pine sap over the auto. The auto was just. I'm telling you, as soon as I smelled it, it reminded me of being a little kid in my grandfather's barn, the cow feed. I mean, that's what it reminded me of. I mean, and then it tasted like it, too. Not that I remember eating cow feed, but then again, my uncles feed me uh, daddy long leg spiders. It's possible I eat some at some point in my life. You never know. It wasn't anything. It was just really bad. I mean, that the auto wasn't too good. But well, that wasn't good. I didn't like it. I didn't like the fine flavor stuff. But I mean, you know, we always like to try different things. We got to try something different from a different country. And uh, so, I mean, hey, I'm cool with that. That was a good box. Yeah. I, overall, I mean, I, I enjoy these boxes. I really do. I really enjoy. Uh, like I say, you can travel to different countries and taste different kind of foods without even leaving your uh, home. It, they send it to you. So, again, if you're interested, you know, of course, you know, you can hit up that link. You can contact me. We'll, well, I'll tell you more about it, whatever. But, hey, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. I really enjoy it. This is like our sixth box, and we'll have another one, you know. In a couple days. Probably next week. But, uh, all right, guys. I hope you like this video. Uh, you know, and if you did. Hey, give us a big old thumbs up, uh, share it out to your friends, leave us a comment, let us know you like the video, and of course, if you are not a subscriber, hey, hit the red button and become a subscriber, right? All right, guys, so we're out of here, and uh, until next time, we'll be seeing you. Woo!